next topic we are going to see is about gravitational field and gravitational potential so what is meant by gravitational field is the space around the field in which we can experience this gravitational force okay so the force is basically due to the interaction between the two particles so when this force will exist when you have two particles and between the two particles if there is a interaction then the force is force exists okay and depending upon the types of interaction we can have two kinds of forces so what are the two kinds of forces is contact forces and non contact forces clear let us consider an example of the sun and any planet okay and consider that this planet is moving around the sun is it not because of what the force between the planet and the sun is this both in contact no they both are not in contact and so the force between this two is said to be a non contact force and what force exists between them it is a gravitational force consider the case of the earth orbiting around the sun though the sun and the earth are not physically in contact so they are not in contact but there exist an interaction between them so between the sun and the earth there is some interaction is it not this is because of the fact that the earth experiences a gravitational force so this earth will experience a gravitational force of the sun and this gravitational force is called as a non contact force because this both are not in contact with each other is it not so so when we take the formula here what is the general formula is f is equal to g into m1 m2 by r square into r cap so that is the formula we are going to take but here it is on the particle m2 by the particle m1 so we are writing as f of 2 1 okay so f of 2 1 is equal to minus g m1 m2 divided by r square into r cap we all know already that r cap is a unit vector okay then the gravitational field intensity so what is the definition of this gravitational field intensity is it is defined as a gravitational force by unit mass it is nothing but f divided by m so and the f divided by m abindrathu da enna solrona it is defined as a gravitational force per unit mass so f divided by m yeah. clear so this is a gravitational field intensity it is denoted by the letter e okay so gravitational field intensity e at a point which is a distance r from m1 is defined as a gravitational force per by a unit mass okay so per unit mass abdin solirukanga okay so which is given by f21 divided by m2 clear so we are writing the formula here e which is equal to f of 21 divided by m2 and what is the formula for f of 21 just now we saw which is minus g into m1 m2 divided by r square into r cap is it not and now this f divided by what this m2 and so we are writing this m2 here this m2 and m2 get cancel so we are getting the value as minus g m1 divided by r square into r cap so can you find the difference between this f and g f we have two masses and m there is only one mass okay so f formula is minus g m1 m2 by r square into r cap and e formula is minus g m1 divided by r square into r cap points to be noted the first point is the strength of the gravitational field decreases as we move away from the mass okay so when there is two particle and when this particle moves away the strength of the gravitational field goes away okay it decreases okay so magnitude of the e decreases as the distance increases so distance increase or increase again ago this value of e it get decreased so that is the first point we are considering the strength of the gravitational field decreases as we move away from the mass and so the magnitude of e decreases as the distance increases clear so this is the point okay let us consider this to be the gravitational field okay so when you see the points here there are three points we are considering r 
this is q and this is p so which point is far away the point p is far away which point is nearer the point e is nearer okay as we have told already as the distance increases the value of e what happens it decreases okay so ipo idile edukku adhiga value of e irukum for the point r okay so e of r it will be greater than this point okay so in the point kunchu thalli irukadanal it is greater than e of q and that is also greater than what e of p because this point is very far from this point okay so as the distance increases the value of e decreases okay and that has been written here value of e of p less than so I, as i've written as i just wrote it as e of r is greater than e of p which is greater than e of uh, p is it not and this is just written in the reverse depending on the points p q and r second point is the field concept introduced mathematical tool to calculate the gravitational interaction later it was found that the field is a real physical quantity and it carries energy and momentum okay so whenever you are saying as field it carries what energy as well as a momentum in the space the concept of the field is inevitable in understanding the behavior of charges so based on the field we cannot Uh, find what is the type of the charges clear then the last point is unit of gravitational field is newton per kilogram and so we are writing as n by kg or m s power minus 2 okay so what is the unit of gravitational field is newton per kilogram that is n by kg or m s power minus 2 clear with this